Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I've been a little bit busy this week with all kinds of things, streaming and doing some other stuff in real life. So this episode is probably going to be a shorter one in which I will focus on a new topic, recycling. Um, the next part of our conversion to outposts is going to involve red circuits, but before we get red circuits, we definitely need to get plastic for those red circuits. And I haven't finished my calculations for um, the output of that yet. So we're going to do a different kind of episode. I have plonked down a few more of these solar grids over here, as you can see, and also continuing upward in this direction. So these are all getting um, made while uh, while the factory is producing more solar panels. Now recycling is a very important topic because we really, I hate having storage tests. I really don't like having a lot of them. Some are necessary for occasions like this when maybe I have called for modules and then others are deconstructed or I go out of range so the robots have nowhere to put them. Instead, they put them in storage. So some chests are necessary, but we do not need full chests of wood and plates of all kinds. Um, stone furnaces, probably, I don't think they can be recycled into anything at this point. Um, they, they are used in boilers, but we're not using any boilers anymore because we've kind of given up on steam power altogether. Right, so what have we got here uh, production-wise with energy? Looks like we have our nuclear power running pretty darn well. Uh, and it's giving our solar a little bit of a break while it's generating um, electricity for those accumulators. Now accumulators, looks like, a, are they green? No, they're not. Uh, well, maybe they are, actually. They might be right there. Okay, so let's turn off Okay, this is solar only. This is this one only. This one is not on their list. So it kind of makes it hard to read when they change colors like this. But I think our accumulators are, are providing some power through the night um, while our, um, our turbines through nuclear power are also running. So that's looking pretty good. But I would like to transition to a fully solar grid at some point. Um, but it's going to take a little bit more uh, of an investment for us with materials. And right now we're just being limited by the green circuits. Now, we could grab some green circuits from this array, actually, and have them shipped down here to supplement these lines and maybe have four full blue belts instead of four red belts. Because remember, all these materials coming in are actually red belted um uh, attuned or they they have that uh, amount of throughput the red belt uh, amount of throughput not uh, blue belt even though there are blue belts in here so this is not making us the maximum amount of circuits unfortunately that we can we can take along our bus and provide to different arrangements like for example solar panels but that is not the topic of this specific episode. We are going to recycle some of the stuff that's in here, namely things that need to be transitioned to other things. For um, belt recycling, we actually already have those systems in place. We have these requester chests, which request uh, certain items, and then we have the passive um, providers. Oh, not those, that's that's a different thing. Then we also have these guys that only, these will only transfer if there are none in storage. So that's what we kind of need to, um, those are, those are going to be fine and we'll just keep on building those. We actually haven't been using a lot of belts because we've been making these bot only outposts. But there are items that can be recycled like basic plates, um, copper cable. In fact, let's start with an easy one. Let's start with copper cable. The, the fastest thing to make usually with copper cable is, of course, our, um, our whatchamacallit, red circuits, because they need tons of copper cable. So what I'm going to do, we're going to give these guys a break and uh, just decide to put in a requester chest here. In fact, let me get rid of something there. Let's get a requester chest there and have this request any copper cable from the universe. Now, I'm not going to worry about any circular systems because I'm pretty darn sure that we have no copper cable being put into a provider chest here. So 
and in this way, the co this copper cable from the storage in the base is going to be used first because it's going to block the output of this assembler. So we're going to use all of that first and soon our, our storage will be blissfully rid of all of that stuff. Things like blue circuits, we actually might have some assemblies requesting blue circuits through chests. So I'm not really concerned about that for the most part. Um, batteries. Now that's a good question. I don't know if we have batteries being put into a provider chest. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure we don't. We could get a, um, a chest here to put batteries back on the line if we wanted to. If you guys want to request batteries. Okay, is that... It is in the zone there and this also is powered. So that should get some batteries coming along here. Um... What else do we need? Red circuits? I'm pretty sure they must be requested somewhere. Surely. Surely they must. Okay, bot, thank you very much. I appreciate the single inserter you're bringing me. <laughs> um, but C, for example, we definitely don't want to have red circuits because they're being put into a, a provider chest. So we're going to focus kind of like on the lower level materials um, like copper and iron. And honestly, I'm kind of um, in a mood to put copper and iron at the end of these belts over here. Uh, either that or just feed them into this area where we have our splitter. That might even be better. Just thinking about this here. Let's see, that one needs so little copper, <laughs> it's just not even relevant. Uh, these guys, I could put them down here, for example. Now, the easiest way to insert on a line like this is to actually put a splitter here. So we're going to put a nice little splitter like this. Uh, and then we're going to put, I think we can direct insert onto the splitter. If we're not, we'll find out very shortly. Let's check this out. I always forget about some tiny little details like this. Uh, so hopefully this will work. If not, uh, we can move this up and have it insert onto a belt. Okay, so let's see. This appears to be working because stuff is going through it. So this is all we need for this kind of arrangement here. Let's do the same for iron. And then, and have this going, because I don't think we have iron plates um, requested anywhere. But by, by putting this on a splitter, that is going to enable us to just use up what we have in our inventory um, very, very easily. So just move this power pole up so we have nice clean lines in between okay what else do we have in storage that we can get rid of wood now we have a lot of wood we have an awful lot of wood uh, which definitely needs to be dealt with a couple of people had great suggestions and I, I just totally forgot about this um, we can request the wood to be fed into the smelting system now do we have this this is going up to here but the important thing is you do not want to feed wood where you need coal for plastic, i.e. down here, because a lot of times people share their coal deposits with plastic making, but plastic doesn't take wood nor solid fuel. It only takes coal. So it's really important that you don't mix the fuel system on the line um, for plastic because there it's used as a material rather than a fuel. Oh my goodness, this area is just really running out of, uh, running out of steam very quickly. Uh, let's get rid of some of these miners. Wow, wow. This is like, I remember setting this patch up. It's, it's kind of like, you know, you have a definite sense of the lifespan of your factory and how far you're getting. In fact, you know what, let's just take this all out and redo these um, things and kind of try to get more miners here. Okay, and then here, there we go. Let's just get these guys going along. So we'll have more miners serving this area and we'll hopefully get rid of this deposit much more quickly. This is completely done. Wow, it is a done done. Very nice, okay, cool. That means we can get rid of all of this stuff. And then we have a pure coal patch to do whatever we would like with which is pretty darn handy. Um, it looks like, yeah, we don't even need this sorting system any longer. 
either. So this can completely go the way of the dinosaur. Okay, just get this removed. All of these things. Oh, um, by the way, some people did point out that I had the um, the, th the miners at the iron mine disconnected uh, when I removed that one station. I have now connected them, so they're all they're all full. So it's nice. Um, this is why is this not moving very much? Oh, it is moving somewhat. It is moving a little bit. Okay, so this basically can all just be pretty much straightened out. There we go. Uh, and part of it goes to fuel trains, which is just fine. And this was our old iron line. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this first and then we're going to deal with our wood issue. Actually, I should have left that stuff there, shouldn't I? Okay, this one. Okay, cool. Wow. Okay, that's a big problem. Hello. That that's not great. This these were all yellow belts over here. I didn't even upgrade them. Shoot, I must have ran out of yellow belts at the time or ran out of reds at the time or something. That is unfortunate. Um this is also quite unfortunate looking. Uh, because that really needs to split in properly. Like this. Uh, wow. Let's just get rid of all this silliness here. Totally not needed any longer. It's interesting how things change. Actually, I'll put it in with this one. And get rid of this splitter entirely. And that's going to be better. Right, there we go. And we'll get these guys hooked up to our electrical area. Once again, put that one there and put this one like that should be fine. Ah, thank you bots for taking junk from me. I appreciate it. Always nice to give your bots a friendly word. Tell them how, how, you know, honored you are for their presence and excited about things. Though I think what we could do is just remove some of these power poles because I want to disconnect this for now. Right, what I would like to do, we do want to get wood on this whole system here. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to make this a wood, wood bearing system. There we go. This is what we're going to do here. I'm going to have wood requested right out here. All right. I'm going to need to get our robot network this direction as well. Let's get this one moved that way. And we're going to have these request wood. I turned off the coal because I really didn't want any more being produced while we're trying to uh, get this stuff organized. Where is the wood? Must be somewhere. There it is. Okay. Nice. Let's have it request like 2000 wood in each chest. So this is going to be like a partial storage area for the wood as well. Right. Um, now let's get our robo port network spread into this delightful little zone and make sure that those logistics chests are covered. And then we can connect our stuff here. Okay. And immediately we're going to see wood put on the line. Now by having two inserters, actually we need to have stack inserters here to completely prevent the coal from <laughs> getting on this line. Um, okay. Let's get that there. Look at the wood. It is flocking. Very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, I moved that one as well. Darn it. Uh, and then here I'm going to add some more coal miners because there's no reason not to have them here. Um, let's start there is fine. Have one here and there, and then maybe here. That seems to be okay. This 
one is going to go on the inside track. Okay, that's even better. Let's get this guy. There we are. Nice. Okay, and let's get power to all these bad boys. There we go. Very nice. And look at this robot action going on here. This is fantastic. And we have wood going on our... Oh, the only thing is... Um... You know what? I don't really want it to go that way. We actually don't need this whole thing. Um, I'd rather have coal fueling the trains. So we're going to break off a tiny branch for that. There we go. We'll remove all of this. Okay, so this is recycling all of our wood into where it needs to go. And I think that's going to be a pretty good thing. The only, <laughs> look at this, the, the, the wood is almost the same color as the copper here. So it's a little bit kind of funky looking, uh, but that's okay. We're good. Now let's go and look again in our storage system and see what else we have stored. Um, one thing about having all of your storage chests in the same area is it's very easy to see what exactly you have. What is this convention going on? Huh? How funky. Um, it looks like we have stone that we could get rid of. We've got power poles. Um, regular wood. That's unusual. I think we'll... Um, we'll just make this... Well, I don't know what the heck to do with regular wood. Because we can put a requester chest here. Uh, since wood is not going into the network in any way. we we'll just shove it there. Now, power poles are interesting, the uh, the small ones, because they can actually be burnt if we wanted to use them as fuel. Uh, it's a little bit of a waste of copper. Um, and since we have them made, I mean, we could turn this chest into a, um, a regular chest and not one with the network. But the reason I kept it is because we'd have some blueprints with the, the wooden power poles in them. Right. Um, belt is going to get requested by the system. Walls are just fine. Lots of inserters in here as well. These are mostly just consumer items that we're going to use. Ah, but look here. We have piercing rounds. Right. We want to... We want to shut this whole thing down, actually. We want to take off all of these because we are not using these things at all. In fact, what we could do is instead of having this set up with turrets, we're never going to use these again, ever, ever, ever. Those are regular turrets. Um, we could have, if we wanted to keep on making gears, we could have this thing output directly into a gearbox. Because why, why, why have this whole thing? It's been completely useless for a long time now. So I think we can just take this off, get that last gear off the ground, and uh, have these insert into a box where we can just supply them. I've been using them to supplement the... Um... Oh wow, look at this. Let's just shove all those guys in there. But um, I've been using them just to supplement the undergrounds because the undergrounds, especially blue ones, need 80 gears. I even put two requester chests to go and get them. Uh, for that particular setup. Now, we do need to get um, this ammo um, requested. And look, there's a very nice space here. Again, just like the other area, we're going to put it down onto the belt. Thank you very much. There we go. Um, we're going to put it down here uh, so that it'll block the output of anything currently made. Um, and the reason for that is just we don't need more made. We just need to use up what we have. And this otherwise is not going into a chest in any place, I don't think. We can do the same with turrets. Here are, are our turrets. Put those at the end of the line. There we go. Let's get this here. Ooh, this is not covered. So I'm glad that they do have that flashing signal that the devs added um, fairly recently makes uh, looking at this pretty much uh, much easier than it used to be. Right, so that's a logistics signal. Let's see if we have a robo port. Here we go. Wow. OK, 
Okay, we'll just put this like right here, I think. That'll be just perfect. So then our bots can deliver stuff. Anything else? Let's go look what else we have in these storage chests. So the idea here is going to be trying to empty these guys out as much as possible with things that we can um, you know, recycle elsewhere. Aha, look at this. We have grenade and stone. Now I'm trying to think, do we have stone requested anywhere? I'm thinking that if we get, um, we could request stone here. That would be a really, really easy thing to do um, for railroad tracks. Yeah, let's just do that. I think that might be useful if we do that. Uh, alternatively, we could put stone kind of like back on the, you know what, maybe that's even better, putting it back on the line. Um, what did we say we also had? Stone and, oh my god, I completely forgot what we had left. Lots of stone, good gracious, and plastic. Okay, we're going to need plastic back on and stone back on as well. Okay, so here we have steel getting taken off, so we don't want to put it back on for sure. We need, let's get uh, our, ooh. Okay, that'll be just fine if we put a thing here. Get our requester chest there get a balance or a not a balancer but yeah kind of like a, a, a splitter there just to get some of this plastic back on the line right we are going on the plastic line very important to make sure that we're on the right line here uh right there we go plastic bars um and stone where's our stone do, do, do. is it over here there it is it's right at the end of this line here but we can put it in the same area because nothing uses it before this place anyway. So I think this would be just fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not quite there, though. We do not want stone going on the battery line. That would be kind of inconvenient. Let's get this one here. We do need a power pole to make this work. You're going to request all the stone we have. Like 200, maybe. And if there comes a point where we are requesting stuff, we do not want to have like circular arrangements of stuff. So we're going to have to take out these guys if we have providers ever put down for any of these items. I don't recall any for these specifically, but you never can tell. Okay, next items. Let's look what else we have. I'm quite pleased with this. This is this is working really well, but this is just an example of how you can uh, recycle stuff in your factory. Things like labs they can stay in storage because these will be used first whenever there's new construction so you don't have to worry about stuff like that um i think the biggest defender probably is me because sometimes i go pick up stuff from a provider chest but instead i should request it from the network so that my bots can bring me uh stuff that's already sitting in these chests all right we've got our bars we've got steel we've got Lots of repair packs, that's interesting. And just stuff. So we're just gonna have to wait for stuff to get used. It looks like though, I hope we're getting some of the, oh, look at all this wood. Aha, you can't even tell the wood from the copper. It looks very, very odd, I have to admit. <laughs> that's funny. And the vast majority of our plants are not even working because the um, the plant the the the, the, the what, what is this called the factory the factory is going so slow at the moment. Uh, let's go and see what is working. Red circuits are definitely working here, and uh, looks like we have used up our complete supply of copper cables. But now we have a place for it to go if we should ever decide to make more um, batteries. Wow, batteries are being used off one side more than the other. That's quite interesting. Probably accumulator making uh, processes going on there. What do we got here? Let's look at our modules. Let's press L for logistics and we can see how many things we have. Let's look at modules. 979 productivity modules. <laughs> I feel rich. Very, very rich. Look at this. We have stacks and stacks of these things. Um, I'm wondering if I should just say to these guys, you know, don't make if we have more than a thousand. Um, let me, let's look real quick. Let's see. If we look at our green circuit factory, what do we have here exactly? If we wanted to build more of this, what do we, what do we need? 
we've got Ah, oh, it's not showing me the modules. Here it is. Okay, 156 speed modules and 144 productivity modules. Um, so those are going to go very quickly um, for other things. I'm really reticent to limit production on those, I have to say. Very, very reticent. So maybe we'll just leave it. Um, <laughs> we have a blessed amount of modules, that's for sure. 260 speed. Yeah, we're needing a lot of speed. Um, and we're going to need some for all of the other, uh, assemblies that we're going to do. The plastic, we'll probably put modules in that, the, uh, at least speed modules, if not productivity and the red circuits, the blue circuits, uh, and all of the things that are associated, uh, there with, I'm kind of, should I, there's really, there's still not enough red chips. I'm, I'm just flirting with the idea of possibly restarting science um but yeah maybe we need our modules better i think we need our modules i think we should do all of our outposts and then we can um tone down the modules a bit but i'm really pleased that our factory has been keeping up like crazy i think it's an awesome thing someone suggested a, an interesting idea of having oh this got um, disconnected somehow uh, of having a a bot delivery train which i thought was fascinating i thought it was kind of a fun idea to do um and basically this train would go around to the various uh assembly areas like furnaces here and if they were short on bots, they would deliver them to these areas. How are these guys doing? Oh, this is one a whole system there. Nice. Look at this. It's working. It's definitely working. Um, looking great. Looking really good here. Of course, we're not using that much copper just yet, but uh, I'm pleased to see that it is working at least. How is this going? These guys... Looks like a lot of the miners are still running, which is a good sign. Some of them are not running. These ones on the edges seem to be stilled. And wow, all of these on the bottom are not running at all. Uh, but it looks like we have plenty in our train loading areas. We have, let's see, the robot need. Wow, holy fuzzy cats. When a train arrives, hello. Well, 1196 robots. I think we may need more robots in this area, just in general. So we're going to have to have another train go and deliver these guys. Um, so anyway, I was thinking about that. That's a really good idea. We might set that train up like here uh, or something like that and see if we can get that organized. So our wood is percolating throughout the system, it looks like, to some degree. So we are going to burn this wood. This is good. This is really good. Maybe we should have this request like 4K wood just so it's stored here rather than anywhere else. Um, let's do that instead. That might be friendlier. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, oh, look at the, the, the migrations of bots going for this. So um, let me see if there's anything else that we need recycling. Oh my God, that was cool. They're all, I think they're dispersing to robo ports to recharge. Wow. They're going way back to recharge, unless they were just full those places. But I don't think it schedules a trip if it knows there's one on the way. So I don't know. Right. Um, I'm pretty sure that that's it. It doesn't look like there's anything else other there's some, some minor weaponry. I don't know about grenades. I think grenades grenades are required by some kind of military science, I think. Are they or are they not? They are. So we could recycle the grenades too since we're kind of past our tree clearing days with uh, grenades. They're, they're sort of passe by this point. Um, I am thinking about building poison capsules, however. What do they, do they require grenades by any chance? <laughs> no. Man, electronic circuits. They are very expensive, I gotta say. Very expensive indeed. Uh, let's get this to request some grenades. Because we can make some. Uh, oh, wow. This is... Jeez, <laughs> it's just out of that network. But I'm all good. Um, one thing I should say about RoboPorts is that uh, some people love to have them in a very grid-like fashion. 
but that is not necessarily the most efficient uh, layout for your base because what happens is that you have a lot of robots that need charging. So it's almost always better to have clusters of roboports and you can have them at irregular locations, but not at minimum or yeah, minimum distance from each other. Or I guess I should say maximum distance. Yeah, not maximum distance from each other like these guys. Um, because the robots have very much fewer places to recharge along the way. Wow, look at all of this bot migration. Those are all bits of wood that they're storing up there. And meanwhile, back at the ranch, we have plenty of accumulators accumulating, and we've got solar uh, panels ready to shine. Okay, so I think that that may be kind of the natural end of this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.